LWT. From the studios of ITN, the news and sport with Carol Barnes and Graham Miller. Welcome to the program, the headlines tonight. The deselected Tory MP, Sir George Gardner, joins the referendum party. The Albanian army under further pressure as the rebels gain more ground. And in sport, Ravanelli puts Middlesbrough into the semi-finals of the FA Cup for the first time. The deselected Tory MP, Sir George Gardner, announced today that he's joining Sir James Goldsmith's referendum party. He'll be the party's first member of parliament. He was rejected as a candidate by his Reigate constituency in January. Senior Tories say his defection will make no difference. Adrian Britton reports. Local Tories are accusing him of dreadful disloyalty. But today at his home in Surrey, Sir George Gardner was refusing to justify his defection. Just now, I'm, uh, I'm not giving any interviews before tomorrow lunchtime. In Glasgow, the referendum party leader, Sir James Goldsmith, was being verbally coy about his latest recruit. We welcome people who want a referendum, want a free vote, proper debate on the whole European issue. It's been stifled by the politicians. Sir George was deselected in January after repeatedly attacking John Major over Europe. In a statement, he continues the onslaught, accusing the Prime Minister of sitting on the fence over a single currency. Conservative Central Office says it is relaxed about the defection. With continued support from the Ulster Unionists, the government won't lose any major Commons vote. But now Sir George will be a voice on the back benches, highlighting the Tory divide on Europe. Tories in Reigate described the man they deselected as a sad figure. It is an act of portrayal, in my view. Uh, and therefore, you could argue, well, you know, should he be allowed to do it? Well, the answer is, he is allowed to do it, but I really don't believe it's going to do him any good at all. And today, Labour's Robin Cook added to Tory grief over Europe, accusing Defence Secretary Michael Portillo and John Redwood of holding xenophobic views. Adrian Britton, ITN, Westminster.